Hello, and welcome to Saturday's show at the Wacky Bookshelf. For those new here, this channel is all about books you didn't know about. If you are a returning subscriber, we thank you for watching our videos and building the channel. We are a community of explorative readers, and we are always open to new book suggestions. All of our book reviews can be found in the description below, along with our merchandise and book blog. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for new content. Thank you for your support, and now on to today's book. I, Robot by Isaac Asimov is a science fiction classic published in 1950. This collection of interconnected short stories introduces readers to the world of robotics and artificial intelligence through the lens of Dr. Susan Calvin, a robotic psychologist at U.S. Robots and Mechanical Men Corporation. Through her experiences and the narratives of those who interact with robots, Asimov explores the ethical, psychological and practical implications of creating intelligent machines. This book is not just a riveting exploration of technology but also a philosophical journey into the nature of consciousness, morality, and the relationship between humans and robots. I, Robot, is a seminal work in the science fiction genre, presenting a series of interconnected short stories that revolve around the development and evolution of robots. The stories are set in a future where robots are an integral part of human society, assisting with various tasks and duties, the central character throughout the book is Dr. Susan Calvin, a brilliant robotic psychologist employed by U.S. Robots and Mechanical Men Corporation. Dr. Calvin serves as the guiding narrative thread as she recounts her experiences and insights into the world of robotics. Her character embodies a profound understanding of robots' behavior, psychology and ethics, making her an indispensable figure in the field. The book begins with the introduction of the three laws of robotics which underpin the entire narrative. 1. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. These laws are not just technical principles but ethical and moral guidelines that drive the actions of robots throughout the book. The stories delve into various aspects of robotics, from the very first robots that were not equipped with the full three laws, to robots capable of advanced problem-solving and human-like reasoning. As the narratives unfold, readers encounter robots designed for various roles, from household helpers to mining and rescue operations all guided by the three laws. The struggles and successes in the book are often rooted in the ethical dilemmas surrounding the three laws. For instance, in Robbie, a robot caretaker named Robbie is deeply loved by a child but faces societal prejudice due to unfounded fears. The story highlights the emotional connections that can form between humans and robots, as well as the social resistance to robot integration. As the book progresses, it explores the complexities of robot logic and how they interpret the three laws in different scenarios. The stories range from investigating robots that refuse to follow orders due to moral conflicts, to robots who display a form of creativity and problem-solving. The book concludes with a revelation about the evolution of robots, leading to the development of a new breed of robot capable of operating beyond Earth's atmosphere. The robots have adapted to these new environments and have become indispensable to humanity's continued existence. I, Robot delves into several important messages and takeaways. Ethical and Moral Dilemmas The book consistently challenges readers with ethical dilemmas related to the behavior of robots. It forces us to contemplate the implications of creating machines with artificial intelligence and the responsibility that comes with it. The Potential of AI Asimov's work is a harbinger of the possibilities and challenges posed by artificial intelligence. It prompts us to consider the potential for machines to outthink humans and the consequences of such advancements. Human-Robot Relationships The book explores the complex and evolving relationships between humans and robots, ranging from fear and mistrust to deep emotional connections. It raises questions about what it means to be human and the nature of empathy. Progress and Adaptation 
iRobot illustrates the inevitability of technological progress and adaptation. As machines become more intelligent and capable, they take on increasingly sophisticated roles in human society. The interplay of science and philosophy. The book melds science fiction with philosophical musings, encouraging readers to consider profound questions about the nature of consciousness, morality, and the boundaries between human and machine. In conclusion, I, Robot, is a groundbreaking work of science fiction that not only offers an engaging exploration of robotics and artificial intelligence, but also serves as a philosophical meditation on the ethical and moral implications of these technologies. Asimov's stories are as relevant today as they were when first published, inviting readers to ponder the intricacies of human-robot relationships and the ever-advancing frontiers of technology. This book remains a must-read for those interested in the intersection of science, ethics, and the future of intelligent machines. And that concludes Saturday's Wacky Book Summary. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. This book and many more can be found below in the description. You can support our community by engaging in the comments section and share if you think others would enjoy this content as well. Thank you again for visiting the channel, and we will see you around soon.